All right, so a new report from the group Human Rights Watch claims that Saudi Arabia border guards killed hundreds of Ethiopian migrants, including women and children, as they attempted to cross into the country from Yemen. One woman interviewed by the group described her experience after guards allegedly opened fire on a group of migrants, saying, quote, they fired on us like rain. A Saudi government uh, source told CBS News the allegations are unfounded. So joining us now is Max Abrams. He's a professor of international relations at Northeastern University. Thanks for joining us. This is part of a kind of like a 15 month uh, period of time. This is that the report is based on. And, and the firing on migrants is one thing and, and killing people. But there are other really kind of gruesome atrocities that are also being described by some of these migrants. The Saudi government has dismissed the report as inaccurate. Can you explain what the current migrant policy is for those crossing into Saudi Arabia uh, from Yemen? A and if African migrants are the only groups reporting these kinds of abuses? The current policy seems to be complete chaos. Hmm. Um, it's true that this you know, uh, huge report came out just yesterday from Human Rights Watch, and I find it to be credible and extremely disturbing. But this is not a one-off incident. This has been a long-term, you know, major problem from Ethiopia. Inside of Saudi Arabia, there are almost a million Ethiopians, and they're treated terribly. Um, hundreds of thousands, so not just thousands, but hundreds of thousands of Africans have been rounded up from Saudi Arabia and returned against their will. Um, this also isn't just sort of rogue actors um, who, you know, have committed an atrocity. This appears to be part of the government's actual policy in the sense that there are major detention centers and have been for years inside the country where, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of Ethiopians have languished, they've been beaten, they've been tortured, and they've been killed. Um, the reason why Yemen is involved in this story is because it's part of the major, you know, so-called Eastern Corridor, Eastern Route, or Yemen Route, it's called where Ethiopians, in part because they've been trying to escape a civil war, there's conflict, there's poverty, there are all sorts of major problems in their country, they have been traveling up through Yemen and then trying to get across the border into Saudi Arabia. There are also detention centers in Yemen. And so there's culpability by the Houthi actors in Yemen, but mostly this story rightly focuses on the Saudi abuses. Uh, Max, let me ask you, if these allegations are found to be true, could this be a violation of international law? And how could Saudi Arabia be held accountable? Who would hold them accountable? I mean, I've seen enough evidence to say confidently that this is totally inconsistent with international law. These are uh, largely children and women who had been walking um, sometimes for days and deliberately fired upon. There is no mistaking these kinds of people for militants um, coming from the civil war in Yemen. These were clearly civilians. And some of the stories are even more disturbing if that's possible. They weren't just shot at, for example. Um, they were, uh, in some cases, they were detained and then the captives were you know, asked, which limb do you want blown off? Um, some of the captives were uh, told that if they didn't, you know, rape the women, that they themselves would be shot. Some were shot for, for not going along with those sorts of commands. Um, so obviously, this is very much inconsistent with international law. This has been a problem, again, for a long time. But I do think it's very important that there's coverage of this story because what we're seeing in the human rights report, uh, you know, uh, as of yesterday, 
is a clear escalation because now we're talking about hundreds, maybe even thousands right. of innocent people being shot, in some case with mortars. Right, Max, uh, yeah, thank you for sort of shining a light on this. What, what we are talking about is not sort of a bunch of a few bad apples. We're talking about something that may in fact be the policy there. Thank you very much.